Hey everybody, Christian here from BD Diesel. Today we're gonna to talk about 68 RFE valve bodies. There's been a lot of talk and we get a lot of questions on our 1-800 line about billeted valve bodies. What are these things? What do they do? What are its purpose? So I thought I'd just clear up some misconceptions and answer a few questions. The billet valve bodies out there, they're actually really truly only half of a valve body that's billeted. It's actually this section right here that people are actually machining from a solid block of aluminum. This is what effectively routes uh, hydraulic fluid to the different valves, different channels, and actually helps you apply and release different clutches. This is the piece that everybody's replacing. It looks really nice to replace, and a billet piece is always great to look at and show your friends, but ultimately it doesn't really solve one of the main two issues of the 68 RV valve body. The other half of the valve body is this hard anodized section. Okay, now this is critical to longevity of the 68 RFE. It eliminates wear between the valves and the actual valve body itself. So you have to make sure you have a hard anodized valve body. Every BD transmission comes with a hard anodized valve body. So this is fix number one. Okay, generally if you have a 2010 and above, most likely your valve body would be hard anodized. So keep in mind, this is a problem fix. Solves a, a huge problem of wear. Okay, the billet valve body section that everybody's producing does not address this. Even if you were to machine this section out of billet aluminum, you're not going to address the hardness issues or the sheer cost of the product. Next, cross leaks. Uh, cross leaks are a huge issue in this transmission. In fact, they're probably the, um, I call it the number two source of failure. To address this, BD was the first to release a bonded separator. Uh, plate. This actually has a bonded gasket to the separator plate. The standard separator plate uh, has no elastomer, has no give, and so you actually develop cross leaks quite easy. Okay, and we have this all displayed on our website and you can check out the information. And the reason how we discovered this was not through a valve body tester, was actually uh, bolting a test unit inside of a transmission and taking it for a drive. So this, uh, this unit had roughly a thousand foot pounds of torque. And as you would expect, the entire transmission distorted, twisted, and turned, and it developed cross leaks that weren't apparent on the valve body tester that we have. Additionally, if you want to look more into the information on how we came to this conclusion and how we actually do our research and development on this transmission, be sure to check out the R&D Tech blog. Uh, we'll provide a link below so you can actually take a look and deep dive exactly how we discover this. All right, thanks for your time. Check it out, bddiesel.com.